Hello and welcome back to another video, and today I have an epic Orcus deck profile for you guys. This is, uh, I guess, Orcus PK in a sense. This deck is insanely consistent, insanely powerful, and even without Harpoor, a top contender for this amount, in my opinion. Without further ado, be sure to smash like button and comment down below what you guys think of my take on the deck, and without further ado, Let's get right into the deck. So as I said, this deck is insanely consistent. We have many, many starters in the deck that are searchable, easy to get to, draw spells, and all that stuff. And overall, Orcus is just one of the most fun decks to play, in my opinion. Has so many extenders. It's a really, really fun combo deck that can combo off really, really well. And then on some pretty, pretty nasty boards that will interrupt your opponent a lot of times during their turn. Let's just say that. So, um, yeah, we are running triple Gearsu the Orcus Mech Knight. Gearsu obviously is insane being able to literally foolish any card in your deck other than the PKs, um, like either the Orcus or the Wand, whatever you need for the scenario, and in case you need, like, a token at the same time for a second monster to make, like, a Galatea, it's a one-card Galatea with Orcus and Grave, like a Nightmare and Grave, it's just a really, really great combo starter. Not to mention the fact that with cards like Link Spider, the token that it summons can let you extend further because then you can just lift them off both. And it's a free Anaconda, it's a free Dragon, it's a free anything you need it for any scenario. A great card, mandatory three of an Orcus. You have triple Orcus Nightmare. Nightmare is obviously insane. I love Nightmare like a lot. Not only is it like a quick effect attack boost that you can use in the damage step if your opponent like, completely forgot to school damage step nightmare effect like send orochi boost by 100 but also it's a foolish burial like what more can you ask for you can send your wand which is actually the next card or literally any any orcus monster which is just insane you can even send like orochi it's just such a nice card being able to do literally anything you want it for the deck Foolish whatever you need at any scenario, and Orcus is obviously a very graveyard heavy reliant like deck, so you know, I, I really like Nightmare at 3. Double World Legacy World Wand. Wand is like the bread and butter with um, Nightmare. Nightmare is Wand, Wand effects on the Nightmare. Just what can you ask for more? Wand's a great card, mandatory 2 of I would say. Double Orcus Symbol Skeleton. I think 2 of Symbol Skeleton is also really, really good. You don't want to banish it off of. Um, your Gizmek, but also having the X run really does come up in the grand game, I find, which I really like. Obviously, sadly, no Harp Horror, but the moment Harp comes even back to one step, because wow, just way better, but even then, like, this card, this deck is just amazing right now. We have the one Gizmek Orochi, the Serpent Trail Sky Slasher. Um, this card can be sent by Nightmare, it's a great extender, it's a great, like, 2450 that you can just stack on every turn and just beat down with, and a lot of people forget that it actually has an effect where you can banish three cards from your extra deck face down and pop card your opponent controls, which is like really, really, really good. Uh, well, a monster, but you know, it's it just comes up a lot, and a lot of people forget about it. That's it for our basically the honorary Orcus monsters. We have triple Phantom Knights of Twin Scales next. This card is just insane. It discards for cost, so it automatically gets an Orcus into your graveyard. And on top of that, it literally sends any of your Phantom to the grave, which is just such a massive plus. Not to mention that it by itself is like full combo because you have Cherubini and stuff like that. This card, wow, just wow. Um, we have the obviously the one Stained Greaves, the one Cloak, and the one Boots. I think these are the perfect ratios for the deck. Boots is able to obviously special summon itself when you control the Torn Skills, which is usually what you're going to be going for. Um, Cloak obviously searches, so does Boots, and obviously that's, this is just an extender. I think these cards are absolutely amazing and mandatory in really any competitive Orcus deck. This format, without Harpoor, I think you need these cards, and they're all just insane for the deck regardless, even with Harpoor, I'd run this. We have um, our mini danger package, the one Jackalope, the one Sushinoko, and the one Nessie. All of them get a body onto your board, literally mandatory no matter what, and they're, they're just great extenders. I absolutely love these cards. And I do think they deserve spots in any Orcus deck because extenders are pretty, pretty nice. On to the hand trap, we have double Nibiru along with triple Ash. Nibiru is pretty good against um, in this format against stuff like Dragon Link, but obviously, like, Ash, in my opinion, is still just the best hand trap because Ash hits any deck, it doesn't matter how rogue the matchup, doesn't matter how meta the matchup, it actually hit it, which I find is really, really nice. And finally, we have the one Dark Magician, one Red Eyes Fusion, or one um, Red Eyes Black Dragon. I wonder where this is going, you know? They're, we're totally running them just because, you know, they're generic 2400, 2500. Yeah, very, very, totally nothing to do with uh, Red Eyes Fusion or Dragoon, but yeah, you know, very, very good in any Arcus deck, I think. Triple Allure of Darkness for the first spell over here. Allure is absolutely insane, because if you look at the deck, almost every single card is a dark, including 
Red Eyes and a um, Dark Magician, which is actually pretty fun. You're never going to banish them, though. But, yeah, no, the, everything is dark, so it's a really, really great card in Orcus. Double Orcus Grave Return. Return is also insane, being able to fuel your graveyard and draw two cards. While I think this is, like, less good than Lord by far, because you need to actually have an Orcus Roll Legacy card in your hand, which usually isn't a problem, but sometimes if you see this card and you don't have one, then it's not the best. So, yeah, I do prefer Lord over this card. One Babel. Babel is arguably just insane because it makes everything you have quick effects, which if you guys didn't realize is like pretty, pretty, pretty good. <laughs> like, yeah, it, it lets you play during your opponent's turn, basically. Your opponent's turn becomes yours. And then we have the one called by the grave in the deck like Orcus. We do like to have our normal sons like Yersu and our Torn Scales here is also sacking the one called by feels pretty, pretty nice. One Foolish. Foolish is really, really good as well. Foolish being able to literally send any card because almost every single card in your deck has a graveyard effect. Rota to get you into your torn skills. Your Rota's just stupid. And the one Red Eyes Fusion, obviously, like, <laughs> yeah, Dragoon is a card. On to our chat cards, we have Double Phantom, it's Foglet, and the one Shade Brain Need. Um, this is part of our end board. I feel like it's it's a really powerful part of our end board. Um, the Fog Blades are very, very powerful cards that are just able to let us interrupt our points two extra times for absolutely free. And the Shade Brain Need is just a completely free extender. And um, yeah. Yeah, so sorry about that. As I was saying, um, you guys should be mindful of the fact that like Orcus lock you into dark monsters, meaning that after you use their effect, you, like, you should be able to think like, I can't do this anymore because I'm locked into dark, so rem um, just remember that, just a fun thing to remember. Though I believe like every single card over here, other than um, like Link Spider and Avermax and like Ash, Nibiru, and yeah, everything is dark, so that shouldn't really be a problem, but in case something comes up, just good to remember that you guys are locked into darks. Next up, we are hopping into our X-Rack. It's kind of a loose x -Rack. We do have some flex spots over here, but I do think it is quite good. The one Dragoon, obviously the mo one of the most busted like boss monsters right now, I do think it's absolutely insane. Double Dengirsu. Dengirsu is really, really good. Sadly, you can't make a VFD in this deck anymore. But, you know, Dengirsu is also really good because you can just detach to protect. And, of course, whenever it's summoned in your opponent's room, you just send without targeting and send and not destroy. Oh, wow, that gives me, like, flashbacks of <laughs> saying that. Um, And, of course, it also is just free protection for everything. And it can attach your symbol skeleton back. It's just an overall really, really good card. Two for the grand game. It, it does come up. The one Link Spider. Link Spider is mandatory for your combo, especially if you open Gear Seed because you just link off the token into the spider. Triple Galatea. Galatea is obviously insane at three in the grind game. You guys can run two. As I said, this is one of my flex spots. I like having the third Galatea. Obviously, it is not mandatory whatsoever. Two, you can get away with more than easily. One Anaconda, obviously, to get you into Jargoon. Once again, Jargoon is a stupid card. Cherubini. This card sends level threes for cost, including Orcus Symbol Skeleton. And any of these, it's just an, a really, really good card. That is part of your combo, so just keep that in mind while you run this card. The one Barricade Board Blocker, just is gener uh, generic, like, machine dark monster. This does come up, I do like this card. The one IP Masquerina, and of course, to go with our IP, we have the one Unicorn. Um, yeah, Unicorn, shuffle a card during your opponent's turn, it's pretty nice. You have the one Phantom Knights of Rest of Radish. Rest of Radish is just free, two free, completely free inter uh, interruptions. And yeah, if you guys don't like extra interruptions during your opponent's turn, then like, I'm sorry, but I can't help you further than that. This card is just insane. Um, we have the one Axis Code, obviously being one of the best on fours right now. This is better than Boral Sword because this gets rid of your um, your opponent's entire board while Boral Sword can't always OTK or play through specific stuff. I think Axis Code is just they will be able to OTK. Come on, it's 5300. One Mechanic Crusade Aver Max. I do think this card is also really, really insane in, the de in a deck like Orcus and does deserve a spot in the main deck. Then for a tech in our side deck, we have the triple Lava Golem in a format where, like, um, what's called Dragon Link is really, really popular. Lava Golem is feeling what I feel like are just a bit better. Lightning Storm, Droplets, Evenly, and a Pointer. Obviously, all very, very good side of cards. Pointer is great in Orcus, too. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. For the be sure to smash the like button. Heart, Horror, Tether, I don't know. I it's a fun card, but of course I'll catch you guys in the next one. Alright guys, peace.